Well, controversy over an upcoming film about legendary newsman Dan Rather, a film titled Truth. Rather ended his 44 years at CBS News after a report about President George W. Bush turned out to be based on documents that could not be verified. Tonight, we have new information on the president's military service. Here's to a great story. That report cost Rather the CBS Evening News anchor chair and was later the subject of a multi-million dollar lawsuit between Rather and CBS, a suit he wound up losing. And while Rather insists to this day that his reporting was accurate, there are growing concerns about how much actual truth will be presented to viewers in this movie. They do not get to do this. They do not get to smack us just for asking the question. Somebody has got to confirm those memos. This isn't a trial. This is a hunt. What we are talking about is you bringing your politics into your reporting. I did nothing of the kind. Our story was about whether the president fulfilled his service. Nobody wants to talk about that. They want to talk about fonts and forgeries. Back with us now, Howie Kurtz, host of Fox News Media Buzz. And Dana Perino is here, co-host of The Five and former White House press secretary under President George W. Bush, who was the subject of that report. Howie, you looked into this for Media Buzz. How truthful does the movie Truth sound to you? Robert Redford and this movie seem to adopt the Dan Rather theory, and it's just a theory that somehow a perfectly fine bit of investigative journalism was squashed because of corporate pressure and caving to the Bush administration. The facts, Megan, are that this was a case study in a journalistic malpractice, and that's not my opinion. I talked to some of CBS's own experts who raised red flags about these 30-year-old documents, and also an outside investigation commissioned by just CBS. Just tell the viewers, remind the viewers what, what the throw. sin was. That they, they relied on documents to prove what about President Bush? Documents that turned out to be untrue. I'm sorry, they relied on documents alleging purportedly uh, that George W. Bush, as a young lieutenant in the Texas Air National Guard, had gone AWOL. And these documents were supposedly written, except it looked like they were not all actually written on a 1970s typewriter, by Bush's late squadron commander. And the source who brought this information to CBS was later found to have lied and admitted to Dan Rather on camera that he had lied. And yet Dan Rather and his producer Mary Mapes held on like this to the story uh, and until the point where they could hold on no longer. The, the truth overcame them. Howie, stand by, because Dana, y you say this is an example of the, the first real social media uprising in the it country. It was. This is, um, I remember it very well this whole time. And I believe that Dan Rather and Mary Mapes wanted nothing more than this story to be true, and they let that get themselves in a lot of trouble. So citizen journalists were just sort of coming on board and they actually took the mainstream media to task. There were questions about the documents because the fonts didn't match up. Why does this matter? Because they were 60 minutes puts home. these documents right. up saying these are real. These prove that George W. Bush hightailed it. And right. And the citizen journalists see the documents and what happened? Well, they start saying, they ask questions like, are, could these possibly be real? Little Green Football's power line. And then CNS News, a friend of mine, Rob Bluey, a friend of mine later, I meet him later, his wife was a graphic artist. And he says, do you think this is possible? She says, no, because that font didn't exist in that time frame. If you go to Wikipedia and type in Killian documents, that's the guy who gave the documents to Dan Rather, mm -hmm. you can see uh, a video that shows you how they were different. And I really feel like... Unfortunately, this movie is called Truth, but that is based on the producer's book. The book, her Mary book, Mapes. is called Truth. She, who, is, who has been disgraced. Completely. She has not worked in television since, and for good reason. And now she's got Kate Blanchett playing her, and out there, you know, from the look of the, the trailer, making her sound like a hero who has been wronged, villainized by an unfair media, when in fact her behavior led to Dan Rather having to come out publicly and own their mistakes. I mean, he came out. Do we have the clip? Watch what Dan Rather was ultimately forced to say, in case you don't see this in truth. The failure of CBS News to do just that, to properly, fully scrutinize the documents and their source, led to our airing the documents when we should not have done so. It was a mistake. CBS News deeply regrets it. Also, I want to say personally and directly, I'm sorry. Unbelievable. So he apologizes then. Then he takes CBS to court, gets laughed out by the judge. They, that's, this lawsuit is going nowhere. And now, in Hollywood glory, they try to retell the story in Hollywood fashion with wonderful actors um, telling truth, which actually turns out not to be true. So I think it's really important that people uh, watch the Kelly file. Read Kyle Smith in the New York Post. His review of this movie absolutely destroys it point by point. Mm -hmm. And then 60 Minutes, uh, CBS News has come out and said it is astounding how little truth there is in truth, this movie. Great to see you. Thank you.